Let's see how the baby Koi are doing. OMGZ. I don't even know where to start. He is flared up and he's upset. You're gonna have something for them to see. Right on. Huge albino Joey Keys. Three bags. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It's everyone's favorite Hawaiian fish keeper, Brada Mel. Before we jump into this video, if you don't know, I keep things 100 on my channel. I am transparent, I am honest with you guys, and there won't be no banana in the tailpipe. We're not gonna fall for a banana in the tailpipe. I won't be doing that to you guys. But what I want to show you guys that I wanna be honest and truthful with is I wanna show you guys that right there. Do you guys know what that is? Have no idea? That's where I've been sleeping the last couple days. Or should I say since I posted the last video. Now, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up above, click on it, go check it out, and then maybe you guys will figure out why I've been sleeping on the couch the last couple days. And I kind of went with my old saying, which is I'd rather ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. And uh, yeah, it kind of backfired on me. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and share that with you guys. And I thought you guys would find that kind of funny, but I think I'll be able to sleep in the room tonight. You know, it's, it's, things are settling. I think we'll go get some roses or some flowers for her. She likes flowers. So yeah, maybe your boy would do that. Speaking of flowers, check out this new Island Silver Crown. Ooh, look at that. You guys see that? The white koi, check it out. You see that right there? That is the pink Japanese lotus. I mean, man, gotta give a shout out to Island Silver Crowns. Brought a Kanoa, go pick yourself a crown. I just wanted to show you guys the versatility that they have. They don't just have like the Hawaiian tattoo and Hawaii this and Hawaiian that. Go check them out. Links will be down in the description below, all right? Go order yourself a crown. Now I wanna give a special aloha shout out to a gentleman who's a huge fan of the channel. And he actually sent me a message saying that when he watches my videos, it helps him and gets him through his day. Now without going into too much detail, this gentleman has went to Iraq three times to serve our country. So right off the bat, I wanna say, Thank you, David, for your service. Not only that, though, I want to give a huge aloha shout out to you, my man. Thank you so much for being a fan. I appreciate the love and support. Now, let's go into the backyard. Okay, so really fast, let's see how the baby koi are doing. Okay, here they are. I actually just set a towel up just to block any sunlight. They are doing great, as you can see. Ooh, look at that one. That one's pretty. That one's going to have some beautiful color. So is this yellow one that's swimming in the background, if you can see him. There he is. Yeah, he's gonna be a stunner. These two are my favorite, obviously. And then I have Chris Weber over here. He's just kind of a normal, boring, <laughs> kind of silver, gray, brown color koi, along with uh, the little guy there. They're, these two are exactly alike. Really not too much color, um, but you know I love them. Yep, yeah, the shark ADV doing its job. As you can see, let's see what the temperature is right now. Just a little over 70. It's probably about 73 degrees outside here. There's no heater, just some uh, media there. And we also, we have media inside the CJ ADV. Anyways, they're doing great. Yeah, just a quick little update on those guys. But what I want to show you guys is Tiki Falls, my below ground pond. Check it out. Here is Tiki Falls. As you can see, it's looking beautiful. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. You know, we had that big algae bloom and your boy got rid of it. So I wanted to show you guys an update on how Tiki Falls is looking. Check it out, huh? Look at that. Does that look like diamonds or what? Let me show you guys what it used to look like. See, now you guys can actually uh, compare the video of uh, before and after look at that we can see the rocks everything looks great and clear and it's pretty much algae free now if you guys are wondering how i got rid of that algae this is the stuff i use my secret recipe algicide by aquascape i'm telling you guys life saver you guys will actually love this stuff i added it every three days um for a total of nine days and uh look at this bad boy just beautiful huh i'm serious look at it Look at it, the proof is in the pudding. And this pond gets direct sunlight. I am gonna put my sunshade cells up so it kind of, uh, you know, shields uh, from the sunlight to help with algae. Might throw some aquatic plants in here too as well, some water hyacinth, maybe some water lettuce. Uh, but just a quick little update on Tiki Falls, as you can see. I do have fish, but they're in their fish cave right down there. 
Yeah, they're still skittish. They're still skittish. So that's pretty much it here at Tiki Falls. Now we're gonna go to a special place and I wanna give a huge shout out to my boy, Joey Keys. He's actually sponsoring this video. I gotta give a huge shout out to him. I'll put his Instagram right there. Go check him out, songwriter and music producer. Hey, go give him a follow, all right? Because of him, I'm making this video and I'll tell you guys a little bit more in detail how, what, and why, okay? I'll see you guys in a second. <sighs> Boom, we are here at Exotic Aquarium in Sacramento. Now, let me tell you guys something about this place. If you're not familiar and you don't remember, I've been here numerous times. It's a 16,000 square foot facility with over 600 display aquariums. Yeah, that's right. I said over 600 display aquariums, not just aquariums in general, display aquariums with fish in it. Now Exotic Aquarium is considered the largest aquarium store in Sacramento. Might even be the largest in Northern California. Now if you plan on coming down here, I'm just giving you a heads up. Plan on spending at least two hours here, right? Fresh water, salt water, like I said, over 600 display aquariums. If you're new to the channel, why don't you be a part of the Ohana? It doesn't cost a thing. All you have to do is Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's called a notification bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And then you're part of the Ohana. It's that easy. Now, speaking of the Ohana, I gotta give a huge shout out to Joey Keys. He made this video possible. My man actually watched the video while all my pond fish died on me. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check that video out. Very, very sad day at the nest. But not only that though, he sent me some funds to actually get some fish for Tiki Falls. You guys really shock me with your kindness. I've, I'm like speechless. Joey Keys, much aloha to you, brother. I don't even know where to start. I mean, I know where to start, but there's so many fish here. Huge selection. Ooh, let me show you guys this one. OMGZ. Would you look at this aquarium, guys? These two right here have got to be the largest peacock bass I have ever seen in a local fish store here in Sacramento. Look at him. He is flared up and he's upset. But this dude here is a beast. Now, when I say a beast, he's got to be at least 16 to 18 inches. This dude is a monster. Look at that hump. Look at him. They're kind of a staple here at Exotic Aquarium. They've been here for many moons now. I think it is a female. You can tell it's got no hump on its head. This is a huge male, super aggressive too. If I put my hand near the aquarium, let's just see what it does. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. And you can see the silhouettes of the fish behind this aquarium. Let's go check out what's behind there. Of course, beautiful African cichlids. This is a 240 gallon tank full of African cichlids. Actually, there are four back-to-back -back 240 gallon aquariums. This one housed some beautiful African cichlids, huh? Look at these, whoo wee, big selection. I love the scape on this one here. This is another 240 gallon aquarium. Look at this beautiful, he looks like an Ocellaris peacock bass, I believe. He's pretty though. Sorry about the glare, guys. But yeah, he's a, uh, man, maybe he's around the same size as Zeus at home. Let's see if I can switch spots. There we go. Get a better angle of this guy. Ooh, man, he's pretty. He might be a little bit bigger than uh, Zeus at home. But a beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, guys, there's like so much going on here. It's like a kid in the candy store, let me tell you. Ooh, check out this. Look at this royal clown knife. Beautiful. Yeah, that's over a foot long, easy. It's probably about 14 inches. Beautiful royal clown. Man, there it is. 150, get yourself a nice monster. Whoa, you don't even see this fish that often. Check this one out. Huge albino paku. Wow, look how pretty this guy is. Man, he looks like he's in great shape too. Beautiful fish. Gosh, guys, come on down and rescue this guy. Beautiful Paku. And he's only gonna get bigger. 
he is only going to get bigger. Now the reason why I chose to come down to Exotic Aquarium in Sacramento is because this is the only place where I've actually seen this fish sold and I'm hoping they have some. So let's go see Joey. Now if you're really big on African cichlids, this is a whole section full of African cichlids right here. African cichlids right here. African cichlids, African cichlids. This whole section, African cichlids, African cichlids. They got aquarium plants, they got nano fish, and some fish you probably have never seen before. Speaking of never seen before, check out this monster. OMGZ, check out this giant gourami. Oh my gosh, this thing is flipping huge. Way bigger than my hand, and your boy's got big hands too. This dude is a monster, but look how pretty too. Giant gourami, it's almost like a gray with some white spots in it. Never seen this color before, but this dude is huge. When I say huge, he's got to be almost 20 inches long. And the girth, he's thick too. He's a thick old boy. He's so ugly, he's cute. Look at him. He looks like a dolphin. Watch these guys move. Whoosh. Whoosh. Ooh, look at these beautiful rocket gar. Aren't they pretty? Whoa, hey, what's up, bud? Check out these rare angel fish. You hardly see these sold anywhere. These are tank raised blue marble angels. Just beautiful fish. Super rare because they're not really sold. You don't see them a lot in the local fish stores, but beautiful. We got some silver arowanas in here. These guys are so stealth. The way they move in the water, it's just so smooth. Look at them, they kind of slither. Ooh, that's a pretty boy right there. Look at him, ooh, fast. They're just turning on all of their saltwater aquariums. So the saltwater section is coming to life. Look at, they got various corals. Let's go check out a couple saltwater fish for my salty heads out there. Oh, look at the beautiful lionfish. You can never go wrong with a lionfish in a saltwater aquarium. Just beautiful. Love the pattern on these guys. Ooh, look at Mr. Happy Face over here, huh? Hey man, why such the long face? Come on, smile. Oh, check it out, the unicorn tang. Just a fun fact for you guys out there. This is a Hawaiian delicacy. Will you throw one of these on the barbecue? Ooh wee, good times, it's good times. Oh, I love the colors in this tank. Look at, you got some fox faces in here. Oh, you got a clown trigger. Oh, look at the clown trigger. Just beautiful pattern, huh? Whoa, I just turned the corner here and I'm looking at a fish that my boy IFG just did a video on. Now go check out the video. I'll put a link down in the description below. In Houston, Texas, there is a place there that is actually handing these fish out for free. You can rescue them as long as you have the right home for them, okay? Let me show you this beast. Look at this monster and a beautiful monster too at that. This is a red devil, huge red devil. This is nothing. Go check out that video like I was just talking about. IFG, there is 300 of these in an aquarium and they're all beautiful and you can actually get one for free. Yeah, check out the video. Like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below. Go check them out. Look at this beautiful saltwater setup, guys. Look at the corals. Beautiful, right? Man, this is a nice setup. Beautiful corals. I don't know much about corals, so down in the comments below, if you wanna leave what kind of corals they are, that would be awesome. Beautiful, beautiful setup. They have a ton of Aquascape products, whether it be wood, rock, substrate, they have it all. Oh, check this out. They even have some tubs full of water hyacinth. Maybe we'll pick up some water hyacinth for uh, Tiki Falls. How much is it? How much is it? Oh, $2.99 each? Four for $11? That's not bad. Okay, maybe we'll get some of these. Let's see if any of these look like they're blooming. Ooh, I can see some fish down there too. All right, my Ohana, so... I don't see the fish that I came here to buy. Last two times I was here, they had them. And just my luck, they don't have them. Man, Joey, it's okay, but it's okay. 
You know your boy's gonna find something. I already seen like four things that I can get. We'll probably get it too. We have to. I mean, Joey Keys, it's from Joey Keys. We have to get something today. All right, stay tuned. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful aquascape. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't even know what the stock is. I don't know what that fish is, but this tank is gorgeous. Look at that. Check out these nano tanks. These are beautiful. Ooh, I love the scape on this one. Look at, look at the little trail going all the way through. Man, that is beautiful. I love the stock too. Oh, I gotta show you these fish. These are beautiful. These are some beautiful, ooh, look at endlers. That's a beautiful endler. I don't know what type of endler that is, guys. You know what kind of endler that is? Beautiful though. Love the floating plants, frog bit. Oh my gosh. These endlers in here, beautiful. Look it. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Beautiful endlers. All right, Ohanos, check it out. This is my boy, Saul. Say what's up, Saul. What's up, guys? Hey, come on down and check him out if you guys are ever in the Sacramento area, Exotic Aquarium. I want to introduce you guys because this is the gentleman who actually gave me that beautiful he Usurai Koi that passed away, unfortunately, and I was explaining to him what happened. Super bum, but not only that, though. Come check out the aquascapes. All those little mini nano tanks that I was showing you up front with the beautiful plants and that little trail. Saul's in charge of all the aquascapes here. But not only that though, Ohana, we're actually gonna go to his home where he's actually building a fish room and wait till you see the aquascapes. Do you still got the Buddha aquascape with the Buddha? I actually oh, yeah. took that one down, but I'm going to do a new one, and when you come, we're going to have something for them to see. Right on. He has some of the most unique and most beautiful aquascapes. He will definitely inspire you guys, so stay tuned, all right? Thanks, old oh, man. I appreciate it. He's wrapping up some fish for us, guys. Stay there tuned. I'll see you guys at the house. Ah, Pooh! We are home just like that behind me, Tiki Falls, and if you can look right there, three bags are floating in Tiki Falls. Yeah. I said it, three bags, Joey Keys, three bags, thanks to you, my man. And you know what, Ohana, now that I think about it, I didn't get a chance to do the new fish dance while I was over at Exotic Aquarium. So, without further ado, hit the beat. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my time when I acclimate these fish to Tiki Falls. Matter of fact, I always take my time. It takes about an hour of acclimation, so I slowly pour a little bit of water at a time into their bags that they're floating in. That way they can get used to the water parameters, but not only that though, the water temperature, which should be fine. I'm not even worried about the temperature, although they did come from the fish store, which the aquariums are a little bit warmer there, right? So other than that, I will see you guys in probably a second, but uh, for me, it's gonna be about an hour. And then I will release them, or we will release them together into Tiki Falls. I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah. Woo, just like that. See a couple seconds for you and a whole hour for me. So let's go ahead and release these beautiful gems into Tiki Falls. Joey Keys, you ready, brother? Let's go. All right, my Ohana. So the first beauty that we're going to release into Tiki Falls, look at this beautiful Shabukin goldfish. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Get used to your new home, buddy. This is all you. All right, next up, I had to get another Shibukin goldfish. Look at this beauty, Ohana. Look at this beauty. There you go, buddy. Yep, go find your friend. Oh, this one, he's just not messing around. He's going straight to the waterfall. Look at him, he's like, oh my gosh. It's a mansion. Well, we're moving on up, we're moving on up to the east side. All right, you guys are ready for fish number three? I had to go ahead and save the best for last. So, here we go. So, you know, I've been on this koi kick. Oh, there he goes. Jeez, just like that. He got right out of my hands. Look at that beauty there. He is a beautiful yellow butterfly koi. 
one of my favorite types of koi. You know I love my butterfly koi. He's almost like a scaleless. He looks very doitsu. I don't know if he's a doitsu, but he does have the doitsu look. And uh, when he gets older, he's definitely gonna be a stunner. So the reason why I let the fish go on this side of the pond versus this side is there's a big cave right there and they can go run and hide in there. I didn't want them to go run and hide. I wanted to show them to you. Plus, once they get familiar with this area here, they can swim through the canal here and come to this side where all the other fish are. Uh, but for the time being, I wanted to show them off to you guys. If you can see them right under, right under those roots, I'll see if I can get a good shot of them. Yeah, they're right under there. The two Shibukin goldfish. Those two fish, I'm calling them keys. Both of them. When I see them, I'm just like key one and key two, but together, they're keys. And then this beautiful butterfly koi right down here, he's kind of hiding right now. That's Joey. So together, we got Joey keys. I hope you guys love these fish. Not only that though, Joey keys, much mahalo. Thank you again for the support. This was an awesome gift that you gave me, and I just appreciate it. I can't appreciate you uh, more, you know? Look at, ooh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at the Shabukins. They are just hanging out, looking good. Man. Well, that's another episode in the books. Once again, I gotta give a huge shout out to David Hernandez. Thank you, sir, for your service, and I really appreciate the love and support. Not only that, though, huge shout out to Joey Keys. His three fish are in here, Joey and Keys. Without him, this video wouldn't be possible. Joey, really appreciate your generous donation of fish to Tiki Falls. Greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure the Ohana appreciates it too. Not only that, though, gotta give another huge shout out to Island Silver Crowns, Brada Kanoa, go cop yourself a crown. All their links will be down in the description. Make sure you subscribe too, all right? So you can see all the updates on the two Shibukin and the new Butterfly Koi. Other than that, we will see you guys on that next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm